and then you can click on it to open let's go to calculator and here we go we are running hello welcome back today I would like to show you how you can install Android on any iPhone without having to jailbreak your phone first of all you need to install AppCake so you need to go to Safari and then you can navigate to this link and the link can be found in description and then you can scroll down click on install app cake and now click on install and we can go back to the home screen and the app will start to download now app cake is installed on my phone and first of all you need to trust before you can open app cake go to settings scroll down click on general scroll down and click on device management and then you need to click on trust trust one more time and now you can go back and you can finally open app cake but before you can using app cake you need to verify click on verify and you need to install profile click on allow and then go back to settings swipe back to the first page and you will see profile downloaded but if you don't see profile downloaded on the top you can check in general and then go to um, profile and environment management you will see app cake verification click on install and now install at the bottom and finally it will bring you to app cake and as you can see and now it's time to download virtual machine you need to go back to safari you can go to get utm and go to the website here and then on the top click on install and then scroll down click on um, this one to download the utm.ipa and then you need to download the first version for me it doesn't work on the um, latest one when I try to run Android on my device and it doesn't work on the latest version so I need to um, you need to go back to the first one here click on a set and then you need to download utm.ipa click on it and it will ask you to download and then click on download and on the top you will see download here the download on the top and but for me I have already downloaded so I don't need to re-download it and but for you after you download you can click on the search button and then it will bring you to file app and here we go it is in file app and then you just hold on it and click on share and swipe to the left click on more and you need to copy to app cake as you can see click on copy to app cake it will bring you to app cake then click on yes and on download you will see utm but if you don't see you can swipe down to refresh and then you can click on it click on install and now it is installing utm after that it will pop up click on install and then it will installing on your device now we can open utm as you can see so in order to run android you need to download android.iso file you need to go back to safari now go back to this link and here we go and you can click on you can download android.iso so you can um, click on download ISO image on the top here click on it then it will pop up ask you to download click on download and on the top you will see um, the ISO file it is downloading here we go um, just like you did on UTM just click on search button after you finish download and then it will bring you to file app and you can see here I have um, android.iso here we go and then you can go back to UTM click on plus button I'm gonna give it a name so let's go to Android and then on setup drives you need to click on plus button and then click on select path click on plus button again click on um, import you need to import from file app you need to go to browser and then go to on my phone click on download and here is the file that I have just downloaded. Click on it and now select it. And you can go back. 
and make sure this one is in the ball as well and then you can go back and then um, click on sale and one last thing you need to click on um, the i button and on input you need to um, check on touch screen now go back click on dance and finally we can run virtual machine I found that it doesn't work on my iPhone SE so when I click on it it keep crashing so you can try it on the other phone so I have the iPhone 8 with my hand if you have the other phone and it crash you can um, do it on this one and then you just follow the same method from the beginning of the video and now you can um, open UTM so now you can click on it and you can see virtual machine is running you need the keyboard to click on something so you can click on um, the keyboard on the top here and then it will bring up just click on return key and now we are on uh, we are running Android so you just wait and don't worry about the the file here so just ignore it you can hide the bar on the top here as well click on it So now we are on this step, so we can move the mouse. For the previous step, it took me about 5 minutes to get to this step because um, we just um, set it for 512 megabytes, so the, the speed is gonna be slow. And then you can scroll the mouse and then click on it, click on start. On Wi-Fi, we can skip. And now on Google, I'm gonna say no, we can set it later on. Not now. And we can click on uh, this button. To go to the next step Now the setup is complete, we just click on finish and now we are standing on the home screen of Android so just wait a little bit so now we can see the home screen now so we can click on OK and now we just uh, move the mouse and then, and then click on this dot and it will bring up the app as you can see and to open any app, just uh, move the mouse as uh, usual and then you can click on it to open. Let's go to calculator and here we go. We are running 
calculator and if you want to go home move the mouse and then click on the home button here and now we go home finally thanks for watching i hope you like this method and then i will see you in the next one